wrapped them. Uh, yo, uh, I'm gonna be wrapped into Penguin Zero's video. Um, just came out like 40 minutes ago. Um, James Corden being banned. I'm not sure what one, haven't seen it yet. So yeah, I'm gonna react to it. Fantastic news for all of you today. A heartwarming story, so wholesome, this kind of spirit could make the Grinch it. I'm not too familiar with James Corden or what he does, so, yeah. His heart grow three sizes. Today, it was made clear to a lot of people that I was right all along. They're finding out what I've known since the beginning of time, that James Corden is an unentertaining asshole whom is an absolute detriment to everything he's in. His presence makes the media that he infests worse. He is the worst. I've never seen like anything that he's done. I think he's like a comedian or something. I'm not First sure. part of the movies he is in, he is this miasma of unentertainment, the antithesis of fun. And today he is. James Corden be banned from an NYC restaurant after owner Keith McNally accused him of being extremely nasty to his staff on multiple occasions. He was the most abusive customer to my. He's been banned from a New York restaurant because he is a massive dickhead as well. Now, as you know, I've been preaching this like the gospel for years now. He's perhaps my least favorite celebrity, and I hold a personal grudge against him because he once took down a video I made tear listing his most embarrassing moments throughout his career. The video remained on my channel for about 15 minutes before it was manually taken down by his team and I hold him personally accountable for that sin. Now, I've never met James Corden, and I've only ever heard rumors that he's insufferable to be around and pretty mean in general. I remember there was a comedy team that played a prank on him that made him like late for work, and he came across really bad there. There's also been a lot of stories from people that have either worked for him or met him where they said he was a real asshole. But to me, the biggest crime he'd ever committed in my eyes was just being cringe. I've never disliked him because of the stories I heard about him. That was just the cherry on top. Yeah, I've never heard about any stories. Um, maybe on my next uh, stream, I'm gonna stream tomorrow. I'll have a look, like into, like more deep what he does and who he is and stuff. Of how much I dislike his presence in all of the movies and shows that he somehow infests. He's just been in so much shit and makes it even worse. So let's go over the situation here today. James Corden is just one of those people where whenever I read something uh, like revealing more about him being an asshole, I can't help but like almost celebrate a little bit, like wiggle my finger. You know, maybe I even stand up and hit a little boogie with it. <laughs> oh, what's that? The SpongeBob? Huh? Oh, James Corden's being an asshole? Oh, you don't say. Weird. It's almost like I knew it from the get go. Whoa, <laughs> with the jerk. Now, before showing the manager reports here, I need to make it known that this has been a confirmed true story. This isn't just pulled out of someone's ass. James Corden has apologized for his actions here, and the owner of the restaurant has accepted the apology and said that he's rescinding the ban on him and he's welcome to come back. I think he should have stuck to his guns because now the only reason he's apologizing is because of public pressure, because this became such a huge story, it went viral. It's not that James- yeah, I guess if everyone's talking about it, he's kind of got to apologize, like, well, he's just gonna be seen as a worse person. James Corden is actually apologetic. He just knows that it's a PR disaster, so he's trying to save face. So here's the full statement from the owner of the restaurant. Their name is Keith McNall, and they said this about James Corden. James Corden is a hugely gifted comedian. I'm going to stop you right there, Keith. Uh, I, we're not even a full sentence deep, and I've just got to make a quick correction here. He's not gifted, nor would he be considered a comedian by most people. He is like the most plain, boring person you could think of, like a default character in PC. But regardless, he continues, a hugely gifted comedian, but a tiny cretin of a man and the most abusive customer to my Balthazar servers since the restaurant opened 25 years ago. I don't often 86 a customer, but today I 86 Corden. It did not make me laugh. That statement does make me laugh, though. That's just so blunt, calling him a cretin and then 86ing him, saying it didn't make him laugh. Uh, here's two examples of the funny man's treatment of my staff. <laughs> Keith is coming in here with the claws. He's fuming, and rightfully so. I've said this a million times, I'll say it a million more, I'll scream it from the mountaintops. 
anyone who is rude to anyone in the customer service industry, waitresses, waiters, cashiers, whatever, anyone who is a dick to them, a fucking douchebag to them, is a completely worthless piece of shit. Plain and simple. Very true. Their jokes already hard enough. It takes a special kind of evil to mistreat someone in the service industry like that. I also haven't heard the term 86th since Spongebob with 86 those patties, crabs. So that was kind of a cool throwback there. So let's look at manager report number one. In June, James Corden was here on table 61. Although this is diabolical, it happens very occasionally in all restaurants. After eating his main course, Corden showed the hair to Balthazar's manager, G, who was very apologetic. Corden was extremely nasty to G and said, Get us another round of drinks this second and also take care of all our drinks so far. This way, I write any nasty reviews in Yelp or anything like that. So this sounds like a pretty- If he said sorry, you don't have to like, run down his business. Like, he said he was sorry. Big blow up over something pretty minor. Yeah, it's yucky finding a hair in your food. It happens. Most people just suck it up and move on. But I also don't think there's any shame in being like, hey, I found this hair in here. Just it was hoping I could maybe place another order or get this replaced. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. Just being respectful about it because, you know, accidents happen. It's something that just unfortunately happens from time to time. I'm a legitimate hypochondriac. And even I, when I find a hair in my food, pick it out and still finish it. But I do understand why someone wouldn't. They, I, I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong to be like, hey, can I, you know, maybe just place another order? It's, I think that's fine. There's no reason to call the manager over, yell at them, and then demand another round of drinks and threaten to leave a nasty review, right? Like, I think that's blowing it way out of proportion. Now let's move on to the second manager report. James Corden was at Balthazar with his wife on October 9th for brunch. He asked for a table outside. Brunch Mater D. Ali Walters took the party to table 301. Mr. Corden's wife ordered an egg yolk omelet with Gruyere cheese and salad. A few minutes after they received the food, James called the server in K and told her and told her there was a little bit of egg white mixed with the egg yolk. Oh MK informed God. the floor manager G. The kitchen remade the dish but unfortunately sent it with home fries instead of salad. That's when James Corden began yelling like crazy to the server. You can't do your job. You can't do your job. That's just kind of horrible to me. What was it? A little bit of egg was mixed with egg yolk. What? That, how is that job. even proper? Maybe I should go just egg. into the kitchen and cook the omelette myself. MK yeah, was very that. apologetic and brought G over to the table. He returned the dish and after that everything was fine. He gave them promo champagne glasses to smooth things out. G said that Corden was pleasant to him but nasty to the server. MK was very shaken, but but professional that she is, continued to finish her shift. So this one I think is a little bit more indicative of the real personality of James Corden. If something is slightly not up to his standards, he loses his temper about it. I think that's very par for the course from all the stories I've read about him from workers as well as people that have met him, as well as that brief segment where you can see him kind of blowing up in the comedy, uh, the comedy sketch at his expense. He just seems like the kind of person that is very entitled and feels like they're superior to just normal people around him. So in that entitlement, he fucking blows up at them. Oh, I'll go back there and cook it then. You guys can't do your jobs. Disgusting. I spit on you fucking plebeians. This is disgraceful. <laughs> you sent me a dish with house fries instead of a salad? Oh my god. Are you trying to kill me? This is poison. And the fact that he shamelessly has done this twice now, and this one apparently in front of his wife, blows my mind. How anyone can do this in front of other people, especially people they care about, is something that will never compute with me. How do you not get embarrassed? No, this isn't like a tough guy thing, this doesn't make you look alpha, this doesn't make you look like a strong man. This makes you look like a little bitch. You look like an absolute douchebag, weak little man. As Keith calls him, a tiny cretin of a man. <laughs> Why are you getting so upset at the server who did nothing to slight you? They didn't insult you. Everything that happened wasn't on purpose. It wasn't an attack against you. Uh, sending the dish with house, house fries instead of a salad is an easy solution. Just be like, oh, uh, you know, I actually wanted the salad. And then bang, they'll, they'll get you the salad, I imagine. They're not going to sit there and yeah, like... Yeah, it's all that big of a deal. They'll just take the fries back and give you the salad. 
challenge you to fisticuffs, like, I will not get you the salad, and I'm throwing the gauntlet down. Well, put him up, Corden. Like, it's just such an easy thing to calmly handle. But I guess not for James Corden here. So these were the two manager reports. Now, of course, this isn't anything like crazy. James Corden didn't flip the table and throw water in the face of the server or anything. But even still, this kind of behavior I never have any tolerance for. There is just never an excuse to be rude, mean, nasty, yell and scream at anyone in the service industry. You know, for honest mistakes, you know, there's just there's no excuse for it. Now, if the, the servers were coming up to him and slapping him around and telling him, hey, idiot, you're stupid and I hate your talk show, you know, like then maybe I'd understand and being like, hey, you know, that kind of hurts. I'm a little upset about that. But they, they're just doing their job, right? They're, they're just doing their job and getting by. There's just never a reason to be mean to someone in the service industry. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about this a little bit because whenever James Corden fails and makes a fool of himself, I can't help. Uh, alright, that's, uh, that's it for the video today. Um, might make another one. You never know. Uh, I should stream one today. So, yeah, um, stay tuned for that and I'll see you.